all of our kids, uh, all of our staff, all of our families are safe, non-injured, non-hurt. A lot of them are frightened. A lot of them are afraid, which is understandable. So yesterday we were able to successfully evacuate uh, about 70 people, our family members, uh, the kids we serve, and, and uh, the team members uh, on two different caravans uh, from northern area, from Chernigov, and from eastern part, from Kharkiv, uh, all to western Ukraine. Uh, supplies are maybe a worth of uh, two weeks, uh, three weeks at the most. Uh, power is there, you know, internet is there, logistical chains are broken. Because of Lifestone uh, Farms connections, we were able to get to those major warehouses where we can get and collect those packs and food drops. Uh, two days ago, I believe that we were able to deliver to crisis families. More than 100 uh, food drops were delivered uh, uh, to crisis families, and we'll continue to do this on a weekly basis. So pray for people, pray for the team, pray for wisdom, and pray for peace. Uh, that's really important. So prayer request number two, that people would not be frightened. Yes, there are dangerous, uh, uh, dangerous situations and all this, but that panicking and the fear that would not prevail in their hearts. And the third prayer request is that there are many doors and, and opportunities for the ministry right now, as you can imagine. And so we would like to meet those needs because people are scared, people are in need, people are hurt, and we're here to help. Uh, as far as how to help and how to support, I would say that definitely food supplies uh, and finances, there will be literally more tens or hundreds of thousands of people whom we would have to serve. So food backup reserve, um, then medication, uh, basic clothing. So this, those are typical relief items. And also we would just have to continue to search for opportunities for housing, for uh, transportation and for major repairs. Because uh, some of the uh, facilities and some of the places where we uh, serve and, and uh, you know, just we have to uh, we have to rebuild. There will be a lot of rebuilding of souls, of lives, and of uh, housing as well. The team is capable and equipped and trained for times like this. And we thank God for this opportunity to serve people and to model Christ in all uh, what we uh, do. Second thing, what is really important, that God is opening a huge door for ministry to those people who have been hurt, to those people who have been displaced. On the one hand, we're fighting. On the other hand, we are encouraged because God is at work and will continue to serve him wherever he sends, sends us. So we're securing our families, making sure that our wives and children are actually safe. And we're going back into the field, to the front line to evacuate more people and to support and do that in Jesus Christ's name.